on FS1, our tail of the tape. At lightweight, Sage Northcutt is just 21 years old, one of the youngest fighters on the UFC roster. Thibaut Gucci, nine years older, at 30. Northcutt has the height advantage at six feet tall, two inches taller, but it's Gucci with the one inch reach advantage. Setting the table for us tonight inside the octagon is Joe Martinez. And all right, fans, here we go. Our next bout tonight, three rounds. This in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing to you first, finding out of the blue corner. He's a striker standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weighing in officially 155 and 1 half pounds. This 15-bout veteran has a record standing at 12 victories and 3 defeats. Finding out of Albuquerque, New Mexico by way up to lose France. Here is T-Ball. GT Guti. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. With a background in karate, he stands six feet even. Weighing in also 155 and one half pounds. In 11 bouts, his record, nine victories and two defeats. Here is the fighting pride of Katie, Texas. Super Sage Northcott! And your referee in charge of the action, Kerry Hadley. Kerry Hatley will call the shots inside the octagon. Brittany Palmer is with us here in Austin, Texas. Happy to have you with us here on FS1 as well. As we get set, I'm six more fights for you. Ready? from the capital of the Lone Star State. Sage Northcutt is in the blue. Thibaut Guti is in the gray. And combinations early from the Texan. The fighters who have done well against Sage Northcutt. Barbarina and Mickey Gall, what they've done is they've taken the speed. They've taken him down, they've held him down, they've slowed him down, taken away his physical advantages. Big swing. Well, you hear the roar of the crowd after the Texan scores the takedown. 30 seconds into this one. Sage Northcutt, 21 years old. He's the fourth youngest fighter on the UFC roster. But he has been fighting on the big stage for quite a while. Started training in martial arts at four years old. Cover of Sport Karate Magazine at nine years old. This guy has been a prospect from day one. Katy High School in Katy, Texas, just outside of Houston. One of the best football programs in the state. Said, I don't want to play football. Football coach tried to get him. <laughs> he is a martial artist and nothing else. Yeah, staying tight with the side control. But Gucci doing the same thing, trying to stay defensive. Make a little mistake here holding on to the head. Let's keep that elbow in between them and use that right arm for defense. You don't want to hang on when the guy's on top of you. You know, Gucci showed off his power already in this one, and certainly in Rotterdam back in September when he scored his first UFC victory. It was a TKO in the first round. Season 22 of the Ultimate Fighter for Gucci. Looking to make a name for French fighters. He trains in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the great camp, Jackson Wing. What you have to remember is MMA not legal in France, so they're always in hostile territory. They're always road warriors. Oh, oh big right. North cuts nothing. Ground and pound as North cut. Let Goody open himself up and made him pay for it. And now looks to take the back, but they stand in the center. Northcutt felt it, went straight for the takedown. It was a smart move. Take some energy out of the Frenchman. Gucci, though, still pressing. Oh, the big right hand. Gucci catches Northcutt. And now he looks to lock him up. Tight guillotine. Northcutt trying to fight it off. Halfway through the first round. The problem is going for this. If he doesn't get it, he's kind of letting Northcutt clear his head. He might want to back off and strike and see if he's still locked, but he's pushing forward. Uneasy moment there for the 21 year old, but he fights it off. And that's an interesting tactical choice. You get a guy hurt and you go into the submission game, he can defend and maybe clear his head. I would have tested, maybe see if the chin was still there, but he went straight into grappling. Northcutt might have the opportunity to kind of clear the cobwebs. He did not get a takedown, did Gucci. He's working hard for it, but hasn't gotten it yet. Let's go into the corner of Sage Northcutt, Uriah Faber among his cornermen. There we go, yeah! Woo! Right hand! Watch out for his right hand! 
Shooter's coming. Get to the shooter, Sage. Chin down. And Take him chin down. Chin down, Sage. Left, left kick to the body. Toe kick to the body. Front leg kick to the foot. Work the toe kick to the body. There, there you go. That's it. Work that toe kick. He felt that. Keep your hands up, Sage. There you go. Work the toe kick. Do I favor that Sage Northcutt's father sitting to the California kids left? Big spinning attempt from Northcutt misses. Sound advice. Watch out for the right hand and take the center. That's where your speed, your athleticism, that's where you're going to have the room to use it. You don't want to be up against the fence. Northcutt has enjoyed his move out to Northern California, fighting and training full time now. Instead of splitting duties as a student at Texas A&M. Still getting the warm welcome from the Austin crowd. Under a minute left, first round. And some damage taken on each side. No effect for going back to that karate stance. Hands low, quick with the feet. That diving takedown is not going to work. Got to set it up with some hands. If Gucci really wants to take him down. Have to touch him first. Hit him with the jab, then you can do it. Yeah, I see he's loading. He's waiting for him to shoot. That right hand's cocked. Look for an uppercut. Yeah, he's ready to defend that takedown with a punch. North cut. Working the jab and looking for the late takedown of his own. Not to be. Spinning attempt from Guti. And that's how this first round will end. Back with round two after this. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Give me the water. Give me the water. Water. Great job, Sage. Way to stay relaxed. That takedown was perfectly timed. Keep him down there. He comes in heavy with that right hand. That's when you take that shot, okay? Toe kick to the body works. The jab is working. So keep using the jab. His right hand is there. He's, he's, he's hit you with it twice. You gotta be cautious of that. You hit, move. Hit, move. Yeah, get on it. Yeah. Sage. Yeah. I need you to move in and out more. Pretend too flat footed. I am? Okay. All right. Just like him, you're on the skin out. Oh, I said good. You're looking great. Right, work him out, work him out, let's go. Work him out, work him out, let's go. Let's go. You break him right now, more pressure. We talked about the power of Gucci. Here it is on display, this right hand. Not super clean, but look, it knocks him back with that one much sharper, I think. Northcutt was in a lot of trouble after that two. punch. Gucci chose to grapple. Mariah Faber telling his fighter, Sage Northcutt, good job staying relaxed. Sage's father wants him to keep it moving more. It can be one and the same. He's very relaxed and comfortable when he's moving, when he's on his bike. Doesn't want to stand there and worry about those right hands coming right down the pipe. Oh, combination from Gucci. Single leg attempt from Northcutt stuffed. One thing that makes this fight so hard to judge if it goes that far is, you know, Gucci lands with a lot of power, but Northcutt a little bit busier. He throws a bit more. Nice left hook. Big left that landed from Gucci. Another one. What you want as a fighter is meaningful movement. You don't just want to run, you don't want to go straight back. Set everything up with your movement. Northcutt's been doing that his whole life. Needs to go back to it. Not be in the center. Oh, another big one from Gucci as he moves forward with the combination. And that's exactly why. He doesn't want to be on that center line. Because he has eaten some big punches. And now he'll go to work on the ground once again. You gotta worry about that underhook. The right arm of Sage Northcutt. He has it pummeled inside. He's gonna try to escape to his right. Gucci's got to keep heavy with the hips, maybe win that inside battle. Pummel inside. Right now, content to stay on top. But this is, you know, once again, a chance for grappling to kind of clear Northcutt's head, because that shot hurt him. Gucci has shown his power in this one and in his last appearance, but he has six wins by submission. That's more than knockout. Yeah, you see, he seems to have a lot of confidence in his ground game. He has Northcutt hurt, 
He's had him hurt more than once, and he goes back to the takedown rather than stay on the feet and finish. So we're, we're seeing a real confidence in his ground game, but I don't know if that's the right tactical choice. That's not where he's having the most success. He's got a little under three minutes to work if he chooses to keep it on the ground while Northcutt... We'll see what he attempts here. As he goes to one knee. And now back to his feet. I see how coming in, a big part of his game plan might have been the takedown, take the energy out of Sage, Sage Northcutt, but he's doing well on the feet. He's hurt him a few times. Surprised he doesn't want to stay there. Another takedown from Kuti. North cut directions from his corner. Wrapping up both legs. Problem is it's hard to secure full mount when the guy's back is up against the fence. He's basically in seated position. It's very hard to advance from that. North cut can use the back of that fence to get up. The fence walk and get back to his feet. Uchi, though, really committed to the takedown, really committed to keeping him here. He's he's a big he's part of his good. training camp, big part of the strategy. Actually, want to maybe pull his knees off the fence, take him a few feet toward the center. We can really flatten him out. He's not going to be able to do it here. Terry Hatley asking for more action from the fighter from France. North cut his back to it. Back to his feet for the moment. We'll see if he can find some separation as we approach one minute to go in the second of three rounds. Gucci thus far staying disciplined with this takedown attack. But has it backed off of it. Here we go. And Hatley will step in and return them to the center. Much to the delight of the crowd and certainly Northcutt. And that check looks broken. to unload. Yep. And now goes to work with the lower half as well. Gucci was having some success with that check left hook. That overhand right, that's what it leaves you vulnerable to, unfortunately. Use the left hook, the right hand can sneak over top of it. That's what happened. Big body kick there, partially blocked. And Northcutt will look to set things up with a jab. Quick glance at the clock from Northcutt, 20 seconds. He's been effective with his lead weapons, the jab, the kick. He's landed the occasional right hand, but most of the power punches have been Guti. Guti appears to ride this one out, and we will see a third stop, stop, stop. round. Here we go. Here we go. Got water? Obviously, listen, you can't be giving up rounds like that, okay? Just don't worry about it. You're okay. Hey, the jab's working. You gotta watch out with that power. You gotta keep your chin tucked or move out of the way. You tag and move, or else you get the takedown. He got that takedown and he wasted, he wasted that round. One round to one round. You've gotta get in and out. He keeps backing you up and walking you down. Stay in your distance, keep your chin down. Throw, throw some power shots in and out. Hey, his hook and his right hand, you gotta not let him get his distance, okay? So you need to hit the front knee. to his back side. Wait, wait. Throw the, the, the push from the front leg, hit in the body, and then look for your own takedowns. Okay. He won that round off a of takedown. Okay, so okay. Angle to his back side. Go, go, go. Don't force it. On the way out. Find, find your jab. Wednesday, don't miss UFC tonight as Kenny Florian and Michael Bisping recap this weekend's FS1 UFC Fight Night and preview next weekend's Fox UFC Fight Night with headliner 7th ranked Jeremy Stevens plus the unveiling of the newest fighter rankings UFC tonight, Wednesday, 7 Eastern on FS2. Third and final round here between Sage Northcutt and Tebow Guti. And Kerry right Hatley stops this one. Say, I don't know what was wrong with that. Come here. I saw a kick to the head yeah. from Sage Northcutt. Last I checked, that was not outside the rules. Did the toe go in the eye? Yep. That's the only thing I can think right, of. So the toe went in Thumb the it. eye. Let's go. And we'll clap him back in. And Northcutt looks to stay busy. Guti returns to the left. Northcutt's corner asking him 
to maybe go for his own takedown. After Guti, you would think, won that second round, mostly because of his top control. Yeah, they believe that the takedown won him round one. That's the strategy he needs to go back to. Everything was range and takedown. Doing well with the range so far. Looks like Guti still rubbing that right eye. And his north cut looks to stay busy. He stays busy, busy but that the, the karate style, one of his problems, I think, one of the things he needs to address is it's almost always one and done. It's, it's stick and move. It's maybe one, two, and then you're out. Doesn't throw a lot of combinations. Doesn't put three and four together. Shoots for a takedown there. Guti jumps out of it. As we look at the significant strikes in the favor of Northcutt in a big way. Halfway to 100. Guti has landed some powerful shots of his own as well. He looks to go in for a takedown. Gets it. Wraps up both legs. Problem is he's in exactly the same position he was in at the end of round two. He got stood up, wasn't able to get anything done. He's going right back to it. And I think so far he's behind in this round. So he needs to get something done on the ground. He's put a lot of investment without a lot of payoff so far with the takedown. Remember in round two when he got the takedown, I think he was ahead. He was landing some damaging punches. You can ice the back half of the round. I think he has some catching up to do in this last three minutes. We'll see if Northcutt can separate the hands, and he can't. Another takedown for Guti. One of the problems is referees don't get more patient. They get less patient. They're more likely to stand it up in round three if they don't no see grabbing, anything. Dave. Gary Hatley will step it up usually faster in round three than he would in round two. Gucci with another one, so that's four of six attempts. And now we are halfway through this third and final round. You have to wonder what his next offensive step is going to be. You keep going back to these takedowns. But it's very hard to advance position from him. North Cup looking to stay as busy as he can with his arms as his legs continue to be tied up. Let's go, dude. Two minutes to go as Hatley continues to warn the Frenchman. You gotta do something, bro. Want to switch position? That's hard to do when the head's on the same side as the switch. Let's see if Northcutt can now mount some offense. Hard to finish without guard. Very hard to finish without his hips behind it. Can still do it, but it's not easy. 90 seconds to go in this one. Now back to his feet. We want to do in that guillotine position, get your hips in and maybe stand up on it. And lost the position. But he got back to his feet. That was a trade. Let's go. Back up. As Kerry Hadley steps in to spur on the action, Sage Northcutt looked up at the clock to see how much time he has. Northcutt looking to stay busy. And looking for a takedown of his own. Not quite there. As they clinch against the fence. 50 seconds. Big right elbow from Northcutt. Caught him on the way out. Flying knee attempts. 30 seconds to work. Combination from Northcutt. And now he'll try the takedown. Nice penetration, but couldn't follow through on it. He's in position to knee, but he's not doing it. Only two points on the on the mat right now. 15 seconds. So far, Guzzi getting in these positions and not using them. Each has had their moments through 15 minutes. That to end it. Sage Northcutt, Tebow Gucci, go the distance at lightweight. We'll see how the judges call this one when we come back. FS1 UFC Fight Night is sponsored by Cerveza Modelo, the official beer of the UFC. Great to be in the capital of the Lone Star State, world famous for its music, food, 
Austin has a little bit of everything, and tonight, the best fighters in the world. Let's see how the judges saw this one with the official decision. Here's Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three have it 29-28. Your winner by unanimous decision from Katy, Texas, Super Sage Norco! I'm here with your winner, Super Sage Northcutt. He landed some good shots in round one and two. Going back to your corner at the end of round two, did you feel you needed that last round? Absolutely, yes sir. I thought it was uh, between the first and second round, the third round, it was, it was already a very close fight, so absolutely. All the experience you've had, the pressure, the spot that you've been under since you were a kid competing, how much did it help in those moments? He had you in, against the fence, it was a little bit frustrating. How much did that help you stay tough? Oh, you know what? When I was against the corner, against the fence, uh, obviously it was irritating. I kept trying to get back up and get my knees to the side, work my way out. So it's only been a few months since my last fight. So obviously me, Mr. Faber, Team Alpha, are going to improve that big time, which I already has since my first fight in the UFC. So um, he wasn't really landing any damage. <laughs> Real fast, I just want to say thank you all for coming out and being here and everybody that tuned in because you all are a big supporter. I just want to say that G Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And I'm so honored to be here in front of all of you all. So, I know, one last thing, I know I have uh, some of my biggest supporters. Mr. Lee Labrada is here. I have uh, Tony Busby. And then my, my family is able to be here because in Texas. So, just want to thank them all. Thank Team Alpha Male, Mr. Faber. And uh, I'm going to improve my game big time, so I'm looking forward to it. He's only going to get better. Give it up for Super Sage Northcutt.